In this video, we're going to be talking about currying in Python, how that promotes reusability in our code, how that helps us avoid repetition with our functions, and also how it can help us avoid cluttering our program with unnecessary code. Now, currying is a technique which allows us to add some setup to a function so that we can use that function later without having to call the same arguments over and over and over. And I also want to mention that the name currying does not come from that beautiful Indian cuisine. It's actually named after Haskell Curry, from whom the Haskell programming language is also named. But with all that being said, let's get started with an example. So here we're going to create a function and we're just going to call it def multiply setup. And it's going to take an amount of type floats. And inside here, we're going to create a nested function. So here we'll type in def multiply. And here we're going to add the number we want to multiply by. So number of type float. Then we're going to return the amount times the number. And at the bottom, we need to return the multiply function without any parameters. We're just returning the function itself. Now this is an example of currying. And let me show you how we can use this. And then I'll explain exactly how this works. So down here, pretend we want to create a function that doubles a number and we want to also double many numbers. Now, traditionally, you would probably do something such as multiply, I can't spell that multiply. And you would say you want to multiply two by 10. And then you would do it again, you'd say two by 20. And you would have to continuously call two each time you want to double a number. And while that might not seem like much in a bigger program, it might start to become annoying because eventually you might have to change this when what you could have done is create a function that just doubles it consistently each time without having to insert that two as an argument each time. So what I'm trying to say is pretend you have a function called double here, you'll type in multiply setup and you'll insert two. So now every time we call double, for example, if we go here and say double, let's say 10. Every time we call double, it's going to have the setup of two, which means we don't have to add two each time we multiply that number. We now have a given function that says double that takes 10 and it will multiply it by two each time we use it. So if we run this, we should get 20 back. If we duplicate this a couple times, we can also do 30 and 100 or 1000. And you'll see in the console, it's going to double each one of those that given amount of times. So we didn't have to insert that two three times. We can now edit it with our simple setup function. And that's a very basic example of currying. Now, the first time you look at something like this, it might be really hard to read because you do need to follow it a bit, but I do have some comments that might make it easier. So the first thing that happens is we call the main function where the setup is used. Then after we call that, it returns the inner function. So the outer function is returning the inner function, which means we can still pass in the parameters once we get to this line. And then the third thing that happens is that we're actually calling the function next, the next time we use double. So to explain this maybe a bit easier, we can type in def func one, and here we'll just type in a, and then def func two, and here we'll just type in b. And here we're just going to return a and b as a tuple. And on the outside, we're going to return func2. So what we're doing here is returning an inner function, of course, which means as soon as we call function1 and insert some sort of value, we can immediately use function2 by adding another value here. Since function1 is going to evaluate to function2, we can then just use the parentheses immediately after because function1 has now effectively become function2 at the end of function one. So I hope that made some sense in regards to how currying function works. You've seen this a lot when you use decorators. That's a very good example of currying. And this also works with lambdas. Let me show you the exact equivalent to what we created here, but with lambdas. So if we take this part here, I don't want to retype that. Def multiply setup. Here we can just return the lambda number or whatever variable you want of amount times the number. So this is the equivalent to what I created up here. It does the exact same thing. It allows you to set up a function and then it returns another function where you can actually add the parameter or the argument that you want to use in your function without having to repeat this setup. So again, the benefit of doing this is that now if we want to create another function, 
that triples the number each time. We can just say triple, we use the multiply setup. And now each time we want to use triple, we just type in triple and we add some number and we can duplicate that and add maybe 40. And each time we do that, it's going to give us the output that we ask for without having to specify the number we want to multiply it by each and every time. Now, maybe you don't really want it for multiplication. Again, this is an oversimplified example. There will be scenarios out there that you might find it a lot more convenient to curry a function because again, if you have to insert the setup many, many times each time you call a function, it might start to get crowded in your code and it might just be much easier to create a single setup rather than having to do it each and every time in the functions that you are calling. But anyways, I hope you found this video interesting. Do let me know in the comment section down below if there's something else that's interesting about currying that I missed in this video or if there's some sort of Python feature or technique that you would like me to cover in a future video. Just leave it in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to get to it. But otherwise, with all that being said, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.